Hello guys. This time I have a very, I'd say, twisting drill for you. Actually a very hardcore drill as well, especially depending on the size of your prowler. But I'm gonna show you this quickly. What we do here, I'm gonna place a prowler here. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna pull and move that prowler across the ground. Like so. Wow, that's already those few repetitions. Feels pretty crazy. Actually, in the body, especially the obliques, you're gonna have to activate a lot of your parts from your inner thighs, for example. It's gonna actually use your arms, your chest. There's so many areas that you can actually train with this trail. If you don't know who I am, I'm Eero Westerberg. I'm the head coach here at Bauf Fitness. Over the years, I've helped 10,000 people transform their bodies, how they move, how they perform, how they look, how they feel in their body, how they even think about training. Many people have said that's really completely changed their perspective on training from our training programs, from these videos that we've put, been putting out. It's really my passion that I've been doing for so many years, spending time, research, effort, and just hard in the really learning the best possible training methods. And that's what I'm really sharing here. Anyway, going back to this exercise, this is what I call the Prowler Wrencher. Prowler Wrencher is really an exercise that I started to think about actually. It's a very interesting and funny story about it. I was pushing a shopping cart. It was a relatively heavy actually weight on that cart. And I, I was actually, I wanted to push it quite quickly. I just wanted to go through that shop. <laughs> and because of that, I was trying to turn the shopping cart quite quickly. And while I was turning it, I was like, well, something it felt a little bit off. I was like, mm. I didn't feel very strong about it. So I, I go to another turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna really be, have a better grounding on my feet. I'm gonna turn the shopping cart. And then I do another one, I do different turns. I'm just noticing like, this is a good exercise actually. But unfortunately this gym and most gyms, they don't have shopping carts actually that you could load up, which would be a really good uh, uh, training equipment if I think about it right now. But I thought in my head, okay, I want to replicate this exercise in some way. How do I replicate this kind of movement that I did with the shopping cart? Okay, this gym has a prowler. Probably I can use it. It's not as smoothly going, which doesn't really, it's not a complete hindrance, but there's a lot of friction on the floor. So it's quite hard to actually pull this towards, uh, pull this, drag it across the floor. Just causes a lot more resistance, meaning that you have to uh, use a lot more strength from your body. It makes it a little more, bit more advanced. But really the exercise here and uh, what it's really doing is the certain like kinetic chain that we are doing with this exercise. So what I'm, when I'm, or when I'm starting to go this way, what I'm doing is I'm not like, I'm not trying to keep my arms rigid and, and turn like pull with my arms, which you might think that I'm going to be pulling with my arms like this way. That's not what I'm doing. Instead, I do this. I shift my body weight. Body weight shift is the first thing that happens. That would create the initial move motion. Body weight shift. My legs, my core, my arms, I'm actually keeping them kind of like uh, arms are just dragging behind. And up. let's do it again. So here, And the arms have to work, of course, but they are the last thing that actually starts to operate here. I shift my weight. I'm utilizing my core. Oops. This, it doesn't matter if it slightly tilts the prowler, of course, if you can keep it directly touching the floor, that's good. But here, body weight, core, arms. Boom. So every time, boom, boom. And if you've done, for example, Tai Chi or Qigong or something, they have very similar movements, but without the power, without any resistance, they're just doing like, like this kind of motion. So there's different patterns that we can utilize, for example, the hip rotation. One is just to keep them all the time, uh, toes on the uh, complete foot, touching the ground. 
other one that I really like to use is I turn like this way because especially martial arts or boxing I, I punch I go like this way bam I, I turn the hip I generate a lot of power from here boom and I turn it because this is how I get my body to it the body weight transfers this is only body weight transfer I'm moving my whole body it's not my arm it's not that I move the leg and then like this way everything comes at once so doing with the prowler is a great way for that because if I don't have any resistance there's no demand for me to utilize anything else just except you know for example my arm I can do just this arm but if I take the prowler I, I'm not gonna be very easily able to move it with my arms so I'm gonna be utilizing and promoting that body mechanic that kinetic chain hips core arms are the last part like like so I'm gonna take a step So like I said, originally what I noticed doing uh, with, even with the shopping cart is that to really move it, I had the ground, had to really go into the ground. If you don't do that, for example, those turns, that kind of tension that it causes, it can travel to your knees, can go badly to your ankles or something. So this kind of motion, this kind of movements, a lot of the times, quality movement, it starts from the ground. Because what we focus on, for example, with upper body, I'm going to train with my arms, I'm, gonna, I'm training my arms or I'm training my back or shoulders, but it's everything starts from the ground. And that's really some of the principles, even in Ali 2 x we learn to really do stability, learn to stand on one leg, learn to stabilize in different positions. This is just a different way of really finding the ground, starting from there. I can use my toes, my calves, my ankles. That's the first part of the chain. That's how to how I grab to the ground that's the anchor the base from where I'm, I'm whatever task that I'm doing in this case it's pulling that prowler it can be pulling the card it can be throwing that punch but this is where it really starts this one really grips here really hard it's like absolutely a strong contraction engagement here in these muscles because I'm doing this like I'm really have to especially in the end contract here like sort of even by mind muscle connection like if you want the good core development you need to first of all just be able to feel those muscles then you need to be able to do the exercises by feeling those muscles it's gonna really help but this exercise like I said it's just learning that kinetic chain learning the ground under the floor to be able to have the space from where you can produce force for different tasks whether it's punching maybe it's throwing maybe maybe you're wrestling and you need to throw somebody under the ground you're going to find a lot more base of support for different type of movements so this prowler wrencher is a really great exercise but it's just really one exercise among many others there's something that's always that I always wish to really share for people that is behind our training are these larger like philosophies and commandments that we're actually following. And this is why we have gathered 10 different commandments of universal strength training into a free course. And this is really the goal of these commandments to help you to build the ultimate body that is not like usually achievable with just regular strength training. So you need to understand these like deeper laws and commandments that are behind developing an optimally functioning and healthy body and this really what uh, what we do is that this allows you to avoid lots of injuries allows you to really uh, avoid stagnation and plateau in your training so that's really what we do in the 10 commandments of universal strength training you can find this course from the buffitness.com slash laws and you can start to study right away to improve your training to raise it on the next level and start getting a really amazing transformative results 
So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this exercise. Go try it out, let me know how you feel about it and see the 10 commandments of strength training. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care, stay strong.